Good day, tankers, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am your host, Shemega21, and today I'm bringing you a battle, a rather unfortunate battle as well, in my T32, which I pretty much despise. Um, but I'm, I want to get the M103, so I've got to play it. Um, yes, I, yes, as you can see, I am in a tier 10 battle, and I'm not in a good position for a ten, tier 10 battle, except the fact that I've taken 22 APCR rounds, which is. Um, pretty much the only reason I can be competitive in these games. So it's got penetration of 245, which is um, competitive with most uh, tier 9 heavy and mediums from my understanding. I think that some of them are a bit better. Yeah. Because while the, while the gun is pretty good at tier 7 on the T29, it's not brilliant on the T32. However, the, 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 the turret armour is very good. It's, um, I think I read somewhere it's the equivalent of about 600 millimetres of armour combined of the, um, the mantlet there and the turret facing. Now it's not shot proof, the little reset button on top will, um, cause you damage, although it is very angled so it's, uh, f it's fairly hard to hit, especially if you keep the turret moving. Um, so we're going to go over to the traditional heavy corridor on Redshire. As you can see, um, our rivals GSL, well they're not really our rivals, but I like to think that they're our rivals because I'm with GSG, they're with GSL, they're both Australian clans, and they've got a Unicom on their team in a 121. So we'll see how that goes. So we're just going to sit back here for the moment because, well, we're not a frontline tank in this in this game. If it was a tier 8 game, I'd be up there quite happily. And I wouldn't be using APCR. I'd be quite happy with using my all rounds. I'm going to take some high ground and try and put some shots. As you can see, I'm a bit indecisive of what to do because I don't really want to die in this. And we'll put a nice round to that Conqueror. And because it's a tier 9 tank, that will be earning us extra money and extra experience. And he's just sitting there, so we'll just keep shooting at him. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm firing APCR. Um, I'm more interested in gaining the XP than saving credits. That's what my premiums are for. Unfortunately, I'm not a very good shot. So we'll give up firing at him for a bit. Oh, maybe not. Actually, I don't think we will. It's a trap. Put a nice round to his, in front of his turret. And that normally shouldn't happen because the front of the Conqueror turret is reasonably strong. It's mainly because it's angled though, so... Oh, something hit him hard. What was that? Oh, that was the um, 183. So that was definitely... A reason to explode. Oh, there's the uh, MX1. Oh, we missed. Probably, probably should have sh should have just um. Probably should have just switched to AP for him. But that's okay. Now, there's two tier, there's three tier tens here actually. There's an E100, which is uh, all kinds of nasty for us. There's the Opens E100, and there's the um. 112. Ah, uh, one, the 120. Oh, uh, whatever it's called. Oh. Turret armor of the 121 is pretty strong from what I understand. It's pretty much a, a clone of the um, T-54, but with a 122mm gun. A bit like the T-34-3, except it's got higher pen. I think it's similar to the IS-8 gun, so it has um, quite high pen and it has does 440 damage rather than the 390 that the T-34-3 does. So I'm going to put it around to the side of him. He's kind of um, cornered this fella, so he's not in a good position. Good player, though. But we finish him off. And I don't like using gold rounds, per se, but this tank is very average, and I don't enjoy it in the slightest. Which is a bit sad, because I was told very nice, very good things about this tank. And as you can see, we've actually bounced four shots so far. And, if I just pause the replay, 
they've all been on the men's list, and even one on the um, armor, although if you, if you angle it enough like that, it should be able to bounce. So, go back to that. So, E100 hasn't taken any damage yet. Um, oh, another bounce. See what I mean about the turret armor? He's probably trying to fire at the cupola at the top of the tank, um, but unfortunately being unsuccessful. If you're wondering what the gun sounds are, they're actually the um, the Gnome Fathers mod I decided to put something cool on. I've also got um, the Duke Nukem uh, voice mod, which sounds really awesome, but it doesn't seem to work in the replays. I might have to have a play around with that see if I can get it working, because it does sound really awesome. And if you like the sound of Duke Nukem, um, I definitely, um, definitely would recommend it. I actually wouldn't mind a Jason Statham one from some of his movies. Some of his, his uh, accent's pretty awesome. So we're pretty much winning this game at the moment. Although they technically had the um, superior team in terms of in terms of uh, statistics, but this team's worked quite um, well together. As you can see, we haven't taken any damage either, which is even more awesome. Uh, what's he doing? Oh, I say this is why. This is another thing I'd recommend you guys. Um, I would definitely download and install the safe shot mod because the guy f moving in front of me, if I remember correctly, he actually, I did actually try to fire. And if they move in front of you, it blocks your shot. You shoot. You shooting for three seconds, so you can't actually. Hit a friendly, which is actually really useful. This won't stop um, you hitting a friendly um, if you're firing a long shot and they move into it. That won't stop you, but that should st that shouldn't hit your band unless you're doing it often. And which, in that case, if you're doing it often, you're probably doing it deliberately. Oh, this guy's going to come up. Luckily, we've got some uh, bushes between us and him, so he's not going to spot us. But the guns decide to go a bit derpy, and it's not doing well. Now I start off with 22 rounds of APCR, and I now only have five. So this is going to be quite an expensive game. But I find I find this tank very mediocre to play. I mean, it's it's very slow. It feels very slow. It feels slower than the T29, and it's just nowhere near as fun, much fun. So I will be selling this once I have received the M103, which, from the replays I've been watching of it recently, it looks like a lot of fun to play. So there's the new. Um, Oh, we bounced. That's no good. It looks like we're not going to end up doing much else this game. And again, we've received we've received no damage. There's a 183. Let's try and get some hits on him. There's only two tanks left. It's just this 183 and a Panther 88. That's the new tier 8 premium German medium tank. However, it doesn't get premium matchmaking, so a lot of people just don't see the point in buying it. And I really do hope it gets premium matchmaking, because it looks like a fun tank. I, I, I've always personally thought that all premium tanks should get premium matchmaking. There are some like the low, and well, the low's probably a bit of borderline, but the T34 doesn't need it. Oh, this is the first damage hit we get this game. 
Oh, we damaged him. We'll ram him for 60. Probably a bit pointless, but I was hoping to take out his tracks again. Oh, that was a nice hit there. And there we go, that's the end of the replay. Very good game there. We've got a purple W8, which is always nice. And, um, yeah, that was pretty good. Now, let's go to the post-game stats and check out how good we actually did. And, as you can see, this was my mastery game. So, we did fairly well there, getting a cash uh, cash prize of... <laughs> cash prize of... 52,578 and 10,000 XP. This was a times 5 game, which meant, which is why we got so much. And this put us quite a fair bit towards the um, M103. I'm not quite there yet, though, so we're going to be a bit there. And we damaged two of those two GSL fellas, which is always nice. Um, and I believe we killed both of them, which is nice, even better. I've actually got nothing against GSL, so I've... I've Talk to a bunch of you guys, and you all seem like really nice fellas, so don't take it personally. Shell proof, um, have total damage block by arm, exceed hit points of your vehicle, that's a new one I've not seen. Um, fire for effect, more damage than we have hit points, which is always good. And bruiser, damage, yeah, that one. So, damage wise, we didn't do wonderfully. Um, damage wise, we were fourth. But XP wise, we were first. But that's because we were a tier 8 tank firing gold in a tier 10 game. And I personally would never blame anyone for actually doing that because, especially in this tank, well, there's some tanks that tier 8 that can sort of deal with um, being a tier 10 game. The pa uh, not the pattern, the Pershing can do fairly well firing normal rounds as long as it can get to its, um, get to the sides of enemy tanks. So, yes. So shout out to, I guess the um, GSL guys, although they had a pretty abysmal game. Um, although they did over a thousand damage e each, it looks like, but I'd just say they just got unlucky. They, I believe they got bogged down fairly early. Um, yeah, and a shout out to our two, and I believe those are Otter players, which is, you know, I can't... Uh, where are they? That's better. Oh, not Otto players, they're Otoro. Yeah, shout out to those two fellas for doing 5,000 damage each. They really carried us in this game. And they got quite good XP for that too. So they definitely got what they deserved. So, did have a report. Now, this is quite sad. So shots fired 22, 17 hits. And penetration's 9. So we didn't do very well in terms of shooting and hitting things, but we managed to do 2,699 damage. Hits received, we received 8 hits, 2 of them were penetrations, and 6 of them were non-penetrations. We blocked 1,800 da um, points of damage, and we did 1,168 ass uh, assistance damage, which is nice. We travelled 2.12 kilometres, and this is where it gets a bit sad. We may have made this much credits, but our profit due to the amount of APCR we fired was negative 42,000. Um, I do think that's a fair price for 10,000 XP and a mastery game. Um, and I, as I keep saying, I really hate this tank. I don't like it. And as soon as I can, I will sell it and dance on its grave because it's just a crap tank. Although I can always, I always see people doing so much better than me, which is really frustrating because I'm not that bad a player, I can make tanks work, but this one's, I just, this one doesn't mesh with me. And that's fair enough, you don't get, you know, not all tanks will work with you. So, yeah, mastery game in a T32. Um, I hope you enjoyed the replay, and I uh, hope I've got plenty more to come. Um, I hope to see you soon, and uh, see you next time. Goodbye.